One of the big mysteries in the automotive industry is the relay. A relay is used when an inline switch or circuit is unable to handle the amperage required to run an accessory. Relays keep you from melting switches or wiring in circuits that aren't properly matched to the load. Another popular use of a relay is to activate multiple functions from a single switch or input. Relays typically only require an input of about one amp or less, but can control loads of 30 to even 50 amps. They're perfect for things like cooling fans, air compressors, or even lights. If we remove the cover of a typical relay, we can better understand how they work. Relays rely on a switch or power trigger to energize the electromagnetic coil found inside. As the coil is energized, it pulls a set of contacts together to either complete or break a circuit, activating the desired accessory. The most common relays found in the automotive industry are the four and five terminal relays. The four terminal relay, known as a single throw or sometimes even a make or break relay, has a normally open contact, but they can also come in normally closed design as well. The five terminal relay, often called a double throw or changeover relay, is typically used for accessories with reversible motors, like your power windows and maybe some trunk release designs. These relays have power at the 87A terminal until the coil is energized. When the relay is powered, it switches the power to the 87 terminal and the 87A terminal will then lose its power. There are two different terminal layouts for the five terminal relay, a type A and a type B, with B being the most common layout. So if you're replacing a relay, be sure to use one with the same layout as your current relay. You may notice that the wire coloring used in the relay sockets themselves varies greatly. But if you look close at the relay, either on the top, bottom, or side, you should be able to clearly see the terminal layout. So the wiring color may have little to no bearing on the function itself, but the terminals should always be connected according to DIN 72552 standards. This is the German automotive standard that's been accepted worldwide by the automotive industry. So let's go ahead and wire up this basic five terminal relay to control our cooling fan. Terminal 30 is where we'll connect our battery feed wire to. This is a source coming directly from the battery or fuse panel. You should always use an inline fuse rated for the amperage of the accessory that you plan to power up. 85 is one of our coil wires. It should be connected to a good ground source or it can be connected to a switch if you're wiring it as a switched ground. 86 will be connected to our switched positive power or may be connected to full-time positive power if you're using a ground switch on the 85 terminal. On most four terminal relays, terminals 85 and 86 can have the positive and negative leads reversed and still work. But most five terminal relays will not allow this and you should always follow DIN 72552 standards which say that number 85 should always be the ground terminal. Terminal 87 is connected to the accessory that you're planning to power up and is also known as the load. 87A is only found in a five terminal relay and will have power to it when the relay is not energized. This means that there's no power to the terminal number 86. Once the coil is energized, the relay switches the power to the 87 terminal and the 87A terminal will then lose its power. You should always consult an automotive amperage chart to help you determine what gauge wire you should use for your relay, depending on the load itself and the length of wire required for installation. On many of the newer vehicles where space is at a premium, you'll find micro relays. They come in four and five terminal designs and work just like their larger counterparts, with the exception that the terminals are labeled one through five, instead of the typical 30, 85, 86, 87, and 87A. Here's a diagram to help show you the terminal correlation between both relay designs. Another type of relay that you may come across in the automotive industry is the time delay relay. Its purpose is to control a circuit based on a time event. These are commonly used to control headlights, allowing them to stay on for a predetermined amount of time even after the ignition switch is shut off. The difference in a time delay relay is when the voltage is applied or removed from the coil, the contacts will open or close based on a time delay. This delay can either happen before or after the coil makes contact, and the amount of delay can be a predetermined amount of time or adjustable depending on the relay itself. There are also a couple of lesser known types of relays called the diode or resistor protected relay. These types of relays are more commonly used to protect sensitive electronics from voltage spikes. When current flows through a relay, the coil creates a magnetic field which suddenly collapses when the current is shut off. This sudden collapse in the magnetic field 
can create a brief high voltage charge across the relay's coil, which wants to flow in the opposite direction. This flyback voltage can damage the ECU and sensitive electronics if one is being used to trigger the relay. Installing a relay with a protection diode or suppression resistor allows the unwanted voltage a path to dissipate or be blocked. In a resistor protected relay, pins 85 and 86 of a basic relay and pins 1 and 2 of the micro relay can be interchanged for positive or negative. But a diode protected relay must be connected with the number 85 terminal to the power and the number 86 terminal to the ground. Notice that the polarity of the 85 and 86 terminals is reversed from what we discussed earlier if you're following the DIN 72552 standards. Micro relays must have terminal number 2 as the power and terminal number 1 as the ground. A little knowledge goes a long ways. And now that you know how to properly wire a relay, there's no excuse for not installing that electric fan on your ride. To watch more great how-to videos, visit us at holly.com.